Guys, welcome to the official Shred the Mic live stream podcast with Zeke and Kelly. Woo! That's where all the applause goes, right there. Shred, right? shred, 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 shred. Yeah. <laughs> Each week we come here at 6 p.m. on Instagram to record live our podcast and hopefully get some great feedback from you guys. Joke punch ups, uh, any sorts of feedback from you guys, all the love in the world. Any premise that, or jokes that you connect with, please make sure you let us know in the comment section. We will be mm -hmm. sure to reference it. And if there is a specific joke your comment is referencing, please use a hashtag. If I'm making jokes about bubbly water, hashtag water, something along those lines. So that as we're going back through the comments during our feedback section, we'll have some idea uh, as far as what you guys are talking about. You know? yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, What's hell, up, Robin? How long have you been doing stand-up? Me? Uh, seven, almost seven and a half years, I guess. Yeah. 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 Zeke, how long have you been doing stand-up? I don't know. Three months, maybe. That's a nice. very generous three months. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I come back from an improv and sketch background for almost 20 years. So I'm not completely new to the stage, but definitely having a new journey and a new experience writing jokes. And mm -hmm. I am loving it. So it's pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun. All right, so we're each going to have five minutes to go through our material that we wrote this week. Uh, again, most of this material has, well, I can say for me, this material was written this week and has never been premiered anywhere. So good luck, everybody else. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yep, these uh, are in development, okay? These are not finished. So yeah, Definitely not finished bits, but hopefully... Yeah. We'll find some gold in here and we'll take them to the stage yeah. in the not too mm -hmm. distant future. We already have. Kelly's already uh, taken some bits. And uh, I think I got some feedback from my friends in China. Shout out to Michael Agliata and his family in China who hit me up on LinkedIn and was just like, hey, really dug Robot Rage from last week. Really dug Kelly's slogans bit. Um, so, so nice. yeah. So we have listeners internationally now. That's that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so, and uh, Robot Rage might be making its way to your show, your birthday show, um, on uh, June 9th over at Flappers in Burbank. Those of you mm -hmm. that are local to Los Angeles yes. will uh, will be hitting the stage over there. And, of course, yep. your headliner, Kelly Shanley, for her birthday, everybody. So woo, there you go. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Shall we do it? Yes. Uh Trying to trying to help my mom get on the get on the live stream real quick. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they they figured it out. They're on there. Look at that. Ah, there they are. Okay, good, good, good. Welcome. It's, it's now an official live stream once uh, once your mom and Jordan are on. <laughs> the All podcast. right. All right. Is well, it uh is it my turn to go first this week? Uh, I don't remember, but that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's been decided, everybody. It's been All decided. Right. Kelly, can you uh, set your clock for five minutes? Yeah. So oh, that's stopwatch. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Are you ready, Zeke? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Time to shred the mic and go. Guys, uh, in the spirit of every single week, Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. Give it up for your host, everybody. Kelly Chandler. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. In the spirit of my dear friend and creative partner, Jared Sleeper, jokes I'm not going to do this week. Well, at least joke I'm not going to do this week. When did, when did a cargo van go from the scariest thing on the planet <laughs> to the most aspirational lifestyle ever, right? <laughs> For years, I was told to stay away from people in panel vans. Now, <laughs> due to late stage capitalism collapsing upon itself, I'm told it's the sexiest thing ever. Uh, Man, definitely a premise I want to explore later. Definitely not going to mm -hmm. do that joke tonight. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite games to play in LA with bad drivers is guessing what's impairing them, right? Ooh. If they're going too fast, ah, they're probably drunk, maybe on Coke, who knows? Could be diet <laughs> pills if they're in like a really oh. nice part of town. <laughs> if, they're going, if they're going too slow, there's a good chance it's weed, maybe opiates. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I may have been a stone driver at one point in my life. And, you know, uh, you know, man, you're just like, I don't want to attract too much attention. I better take it down to 33 and a 45. <laughs> um, the latest impairment, though, is is kind of blowing me away. 
So yesterday we were driving on Overland and we saw a driver hitting a very cool 29 miles per hour in a 40 zone. And he had the telltale swerving within his own lane, not crossing over, but just swerving just enough. We pass him. And what do we see? But a guy in his late 60s <laughs> leaning over and attempting to text with his eyes nowhere near the windshield. Mm -hmm. My first mm -hmm. thought was like, buddy, you are you are too old to be texting and driving. <laughs> like <laughs> this texting and driving is a young person sport. All right. <laughs> you didn't grow up playing video games, right? <laughs> you don't have the hand eye coordination to pull this move off. Right? <laughs> you need a designated texter is what you need. Mm -hmm. And so my belief is that anyone born after nineteen ninety nine is allowed to text and drive, right? <laughs> you might lack real world driving experience. I'll give you that. But you know your way around a touch screen like nobody's business, okay? You don't, mm -hmm. you probably don't remember a time where you weren't asked to multitask, right? If your biggest fear growing up was getting kidnapped by a guy in a cargo van, you're too old to text and drive, right? <laughs> if you remember the sounds of a dial up modem you're too old to text and drive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you enjoyed the halftime show at this year's Super Bowl, you were definitely <laughs> too old to text and drive, right? <laughs> if you were fucking pre-AIDS, you were definitely too old to text and drive. <laughs> if your answer to, to doing the most sketchy shit from your youth was, it was the 70s, <laughs> you were too old to text and drive. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got one more that I'll throw in there just for, for, for uh, Gen X. If Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation changed your life, you're too old to text and drive. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's my texting and driving chunk. Um, Carol, where are we at time wise? You got a minute and 19 seconds. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. So, one of the things I've noticed now that I'm, I'm in my 40s is that sleep has become a big priority for me. <laughs> like nothing <laughs> says welcome to middle age, like prioritizing rest, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but for me, have you noticed that beds are starting to get taller again? Like literally just height wise <laughs> getting taller, right? And I feel like we were on this 20 year cycle where they were getting closer to the ground and then all of a sudden they're shooting back up. So I just have this, this feeling that I'm like, something needs to change, right? Because if I have to get a running start to get into bed, Hmm. Bed's too high. Right? <laughs> if you have to be a former D1 high jumper to get in a bed, <laughs> your bed's too high. Right? If you have to recruit the Nepalese climbing team from 14 Peaks just to get into bed, <laughs> your bed is too high. Right? <laughs> I don't want any part of your bed if it's if you if I have to go about eight thousand meters, aka the death zone, just hmm. to try and chase some Z's. <laughs> and I think that's probably my time. Six seconds, five, four, three. <laughs> Woo, all right. There you go. For Zeke Thomas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, well, that's hilarious. I enjoyed all of that. You got a lot of, you got some comment. Well, you offended Jody. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jody's too old to text and drive, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am too. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, we got uh, living in a van down by the river. Classic, classic. Um, oh, yeah. Excellent, excellent point. Uh, Berg's laughed at uh, hashtag too old to text and drive. Just a great premise. Thank uh, you, thank see. you. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, I don't know if you're a single man in your 20s and 30s. It seems like the mattress sits on the floor. That's <laughs> Maybe it's a sign of maturity, you know? Ooh, uh, that's ooh, good, that's got good. a callback there. Like, if your mattress is off the ground, you're too old to text and drive. Something like that. I don't know. It just came full together? circle. I like it. Came full I like circle. it a lot. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Jordan says, hashtag too old. I'm maybe old to, too old to text or drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, Jordan's man. got jokes, everybody. I like it. I like it. Uh, somewhat reminiscent of Jeff Fox, whether you might be a redneck. It's true. It's a good listicle uh, of, you know, examples of if you're too old to text and drive. But yeah, yeah. Um, 
Listen, I, yeah. if I have, if I can <laughs> buy mansions with, you might be a redneck or you might be too old to text and drive uh, as my shtick, I will gladly do it. Yeah. And I will <laughs> gladly live in it with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I loved when you said you were, you were going to try to guess the driving impairment. That was really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, and the designated texter was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, not just a designated driver, but a designated texter. And it made me think of, I don't know if there's something like when we had flip phones before everyone had a keyboard on their phone and, you know, you had to like uh, press a certain amount of times for different letters. Like I had those mm -hmm. memorized. I could text without looking because oh, I just wow. had like the number of like, boom. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if you have, if there's a succinct way to say, if you could, text that way you're too old to text if you can t9 text yeah yeah exactly. yeah 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 i never used the um predictive text though that threw me off it was never that was worth an worse than autocorrect like i just couldn't with the t9 texting <laughs> yeah 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 uh i also loved um talking about uh van life just like how uh it used to be creepy and avoid everyone in a van and now like i too would love a van. <laughs> like, Listen, uh, I, I, there is an Instagram account that I follow called the Tahoe Toaster, which takes oh. a Honda, as someone who's taken a Honda Element. Shout out to the Tahoe Toaster. Yeah, great what, follow. What? Um, <laughs> she has taken her Honda Element and turned it into a camper. And I'm just like, I refuse to do it. <laughs> but she makes it look good. She it's makes an it look option. like an aspirational lifestyle, you know. It's so. an option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a whole lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, great job. Good Thank stuff. you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, comments. Let's see. I don't know if I'm able to scroll back through comments as a guest I just, here. I just went through all of them. Right, right, right. But when you're going, I Oh, I when I'm going. To... Got yeah, it, got yeah. it. See, I've I've never been a guest on this <laughs> on the podcast. Oh, I know. You can, but I think you just have to tap on the screen and then they show up. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Ha -ha. Okay. Yeah. I can't go backwards, though, in, into real time. Okay. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll try to keep up. Okay. <laughs> I'm showing my boomerness. It's okay. What? <laughs> All right, Kel. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you, everybody. It's, uh, it's now time to pass the baton. Mm -hmm. Kelly Shanley, are you ready to shred a mic? I am ready. Okay, here we go. Whoops. And we're going to get started here in just a second. All right, Kelly, prepare yourself. You're about to shred the <laughs> mic in three, two, one, go. All right. Well, um, speaking of old people, uh, my sister is a physical therapist, and she has a very stubborn elderly patient who refuses to use a walker, even though, like, she desperately needs one. Instead, she just uses a cane in each hand. So she's known around the old folks' home as two canes. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that also leads nicely into this bit I have about uh, one time I was trying to explain to my late grandfather over the phone via landline, how to send an email on a desktop computer. Um, like if you think boomers are clueless, try the lost generation. Like they were born lost, okay? And I'm supposed to tell them how to send an email? Like they're also known as the greatest generation, you know? Like I can't, I can't be short with someone who's literally from the greatest generation ever to be born. Like do you know why they're called the greatest generation? It's because they came of age during the Great Depression and they either fought in World War II or contributed, you know, labor to its victory. And, you know, <laughs> that's a great generation. But like, how do you expect me to explain Wi-Fi to someone whose childhood was marked by such technological advancements as the radio <laughs> and the, the beta <laughs> version of the telephone? Like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. Like, or how do I explain an email to someone who used to receive telegraphs? Like actual telegraphs, you know? Uh, I can't sass someone who wrote a memoir about growing up in the depression that is literally titled Rural Reminiscences, The Agony of Survival. <laughs> like that's, 
That's the story of his childhood. He used to wear a toothbrush with his entire family, okay? Yeah, so um, anyway, that's, <laughs> that's all I got there. Like if I wrote a memoir about my childhood, it would be like mountain living, the quirks of living in a beautiful mountain town with really nice parents and a cool big sister. Yep, Remy <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? He knows. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to take a hard left and uh, tell you guys about the first time I attended a rave. Um, I remember it well because it was only like three years ago. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was a late bloomer when it came to uh, uh, raves. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised that, by it, though. Like, I had mostly been around drunk people in my 20s, and so I just kind of assumed that that's how it would, you know, be a lot of drunk people. I love you, Remy, but I'm going to put you down for now. Um, but uh, it was more just, like, really happy people on Molly who were just <laughs> giving me free bracelets and stuff. And I had the wonderful job of working at the rave name booth, which... It's exactly what it sounds like. People would walk up to me. I would chat with them for a minute and give them a nickname for the rave. Some of my favorites were this one woman told me she was a housewife and she loved it. And I dubbed her Deep Housewife. <laughs> uh, I had a... <laughs> Another guy came up to me and said he'd been to every rave all the time. He's the most experienced raver of all time. And I dubbed him Jack of all raves. Uh, there was also a guy who was wearing both alien garb and a furry wolf hat so he became extra terrestrial yeah yeah what? Uh, <laughs> thank you That's thank good. you uh some of my other favorites were um the catcher in the rave don't remember exactly where that came from um darth <laughs> glitter and of course the notorious roy g biff uh, that was one of my faves. So um, we also, so we were told to dress up as doctors for some reason, you know, like rape doctors, <laughs> you know, like I had a white coat on and then like a sports bra top. And I don't know, it was, I didn't look professional, but someone mistook me and my friend Rebecca for real doctors apparently, because he's like, when we were walking to our car, he was like, can I give you guys a ride? And we were like, thanks. And then he started asking his questions like, what kind of injuries were you guys seeing tonight? I heard there were a lot of people <laughs> overdosing on acid. And we were like, does this guy think we're real doctors right now? Like, <laughs> the second that I admitted to him that we were not real doctors, he slammed on the brakes and pretty much kicked us the fuck out of his golf cart. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. How am I doing on time, Zeke? You are done that is a wrap cal all right perfect <laughs> Ellie Shanley, everybody thank you thank you thank you thank you nice uh. all right let's see here joanne wants a uh, rave name let's Ooh. see okay let's I'll work see on it, hashtag first rave i love that let's see cam <laughs> is uh like the toothbrush bit let me see. I'm having uh, a tough time boom, booming my way through, uh, going through the comments as they go through. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jody wants a rave name, too. Are you able to go uh, backwards through the comments? Because I don't think I have access. Um, that That's kind of where they start. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Or wait, no. Joanne said greatest at not giving a fuck. Oh, for the greatest generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man and uh cam wants to see animated versions of the rave name peeps okay that could be fun i'm listen not if an animator, we have anybody but... in our audience that is skilled at animation uh... jody could do it jody could do it <laughs> i would love to see some promo material with an artist's interpretation of rave names that would be amazing <laughs> i definitely don't have those skills so my i i am at in awe of anyone who can draw or do anything like that. Um, I loved uh, two kinds of oh, way too much, <laughs> way too much. I don't know if that's a me thing or if Thank you. that will work with everybody else, uh, but I love it. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I loved referencing your grandpa's uh, book, <laughs> The Agony of Survival. Sorry, is that the subheading, The Agony of Survival? Yes. Yeah. It's a real yeah, book. Yeah. And I'm a terrible granddaughter. I've never read it because every time I pick it up, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do this right now. <laughs> <I haven't read> 
Well, with a title like that, it's tough. It's a, yeah. it's, it's, a it's a tough read. It's a tough read. Yeah. But yeah, uh, sharing. I think Joanne was the one who was just like uh, sharing a toothbrush. Like that was like, that's that's pretty gangster, right there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, love that. I would love to. I think there's just so much more material to mine from uh, from that book <laughs> and your experience of trying to get through it. I don't even know how long you've tried to get through it, but I have a feeling it's probably close to a decade, right? It's been a while. Probably <laughs> two. I mean, I've been able to read for quite some time now. So, <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. You got punchlines already. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, rave names are great. Love that. Um <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a lot of good stuff in there, Cal. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you laughed really hard at 2K, and that felt good. I had to, I had to pause for laughter longer than I expected. <laughs> yeah, that applause break was uh, was a little bit longer than than expected. Oh my god! Did you see? So Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, and uh, he's referring to Barb, my mom. He says Barb says she read her dad's book twice, and that's why she is the way she is. <laughs> So you're saying I shouldn't read it. Like, <laughs> Oof. Mom, you can give me the highlights uh, and then, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll add some levity to it. We'll see. If can yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, we'll look for the Sparks Notes uh, version yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, that feels like a pretty successful shred the mic, wouldn't you say, Cal? Yeah, that was a good one. That felt really good. Yeah, yeah. I fun. feel like. You know, we're definitely dialing in some some premises, mm -hmm. some premises. I don't know. I again, yeah. CTE brain, so I don't know what's what. I don't yeah. know words anymore. And Remy, obviously, <laughs> Remy just back. goes from mic to mic. He's just pouring <laughs> Whoever, himself out. Whoever's yeah. telling jokes, he just wants to be a part of. Yeah, he's like, oh, you're on camera right now. <laughs> Become upstairs. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Kelly, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, well. Obviously, you found me on Instagram. I'm on TikTok as well, at Kelly A. Shanley. I have a YouTube channel under just Kelly Shanley, uh, which has longer version. It, uh, it's going to have longer versions of my stand-up. Instead of just the short little clips you get, you're going to be able to see full sets soon up there. Um, and I'm going to be making videos of jokes from the first time I told them, developing up until how they are now. So that'll be fun hopefully fun for you guys to see. Uh, Remy's trying to steal my hair tie right now. No. <laughs> um, and then Medium, I have a lot of humor pieces on Medium at Kelly A. Shanley once again. So what about you, Zeke? Where can people find you on the internet? Well, first and foremost, you guys can obviously find us here on Instagram and TikTok. Zeke Thomas is rad. Zeke, by the way, is spelled Z-E-K-E. Thomas, T-H-O, M like Mary, A like Apple, S like Sam. Yeah, I, you'd be surprised at how people are spelling my name these days. Uh, we're also on Spotify. So the actual podcast version of this live stream, the cut down version, is on Spotify, uh, Apple. Let's see. We are on Stitcher. We're on Anchor. We're on Google Podcasts. We are everywhere you get podcasts these days. Everywhere. Let's see. Uh, on YouTube, you can find me at Zeke Thomas. And of course, for all your other Zeke Thomas needs, you can find me at ZekeThomas.com. And if that wasn't enough, all my patrons, all my supporters, please join the community on Patreon.com. Zeke Thomas is rad. You can join the Patreon community there for as little as $5 a month, where you get a whole lot of behind the scenes pictures, uh, videos, sort of go through the entire process of what it takes to sort of go through this podcast and stand-up process and again you get early access to a stand-up show if you want to buy tickets and of course there's plenty of patreon only announcements listed there mm -hmm. yeah what else yeah. oh gotta give a shout out to our sponsors sponsors everybody um ben Rowe, camera support they're providing the tripods and camera support systems for this live stream in addition to fotex who is also doing our lighting today. So look at that. Mm -hmm. Got to shout out the sponsors for the people that make this thing happen. Mm -hmm. Kelly, that's all I got. All right, I'm going to do one more plug for my birthday stand-up show. It's what? June 9th at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. If you are going to be in town or you're in LA already, 
um, the link in my bio has tickets. So you can buy them on there. They're only 15 bucks, and they actually have parking there. So come on out. It's going to be parking. Oh, yeah. Really fun. Free parking, and I'm headlining. I'm doing 20 minutes. So, what? yeah, come on out. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, yeah. Come join us. I'll be, doing, I'll, I'll be doing a, uh, a quick set myself mm -hmm. as well, so you get to see us both in person. But it's all about the birthday girl slash headliner, Kelly Shanley, everybody. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for Shred the Mic. We will see you next Wednesday at mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Pacific and 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, you guys are Legion. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you.